So worst thing you want to be when you're a cop is lose your credibility. Eric Andrade used to be a Milwaukee police officer until he wound up on a list of problematic cops in Milwaukee County. It's a big shock to everybody. People didn't even know this existed. Andrade says he hasn't been able to work in law enforcement for six years following his role in the wrongful arrest of Milwaukee Bucks player Sterling Brown. <laughs> In 2018, Brown was taken to the ground and tased after parking in two handicapped parking spaces outside of Walgreens. Andrade wasn't involved in the excessive use of force that night that cost the city $750,000. After the incident, he made several posts on Facebook that then Police Chief Alfonso Morales said were racist, derogatory, and mocked the NBA player, including one post that read, Nice meeting Sterling Brown of the Milwaukee Bucks at work this morning. LOL, hashtag fear the deer. I'm from the south side of Milwaukee, went to Milwaukee Public Schools my whole life. Um, my dad's Mex from Mexico, and they just char totally turned me out to be a racist. Andrade's violation of the department's social media policy landed him on Milwaukee County's Brady list for racial bias. Chief Morales said at the time he had no other choice but to terminate him. Would not have fired him had it not been for his ability, inability to uh, testify in court or be used by the district attorney's office to testify in court. At the end of the day, I did what I did. I mean, what can I blame for? I posted that stuff, you know, as insensitive as it was. And yeah, when he said that, like, totally caught me off guard. Andrade is one of 192 current and former members of law enforcement placed on Milwaukee County's Brady list. The list exists because of a U.S. Supreme Court case from six decades ago. In criminal cases, it requires prosecutors to disclose if officers have a history of past crimes, dishonesty, bias, or other integrity concerns if they're called to testify. Up until TMJ4 got lawyers involved, Milwaukee County's district attorney's office refused to release names put on the list for internal misconduct that was not criminal. Why do you think this was such a secretive list? It's gonna open up a can of worms for them. They're gonna have to do a lot of explaining. One thing Andrade wants explained is why is he on the list, but the other officers disciplined for tasing and taking Brown down are not. This story isn't about whether Andrade should be on the list, rather his concerns about inconsistencies we've already found. The list we received from the DA's office is missing information, including who is currently employed in law enforcement. Using publicly available salary data, we went through and found between the Milwaukee Police Department and the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office, at least 22 people kept their jobs after being put on the Brady list for non-criminal code of conduct violations, and three stayed on the force after being convicted of misdemeanor crimes. Do you feel like there are officers who have done worse than what you've done, who are on the Brady list but got to keep their jobs? It's obvious. You just look, look through it. I think that's why they didn't want it out. Andrade also questions how many names are missing, pointing to former Milwaukee County Deputy Sean Bassage. Our ghosted investigation revealed Bassage was disciplined for yelling racially inflammatory remarks at black people while drunk and off duty. Bassage was suspended for five days but is not on the Brady list. How many officers' names do you think are missing from this Brady list? Uh, I believe a lot. <laughs> uh, old term where, where there's uh, one rat, there's a hundred more you don't see. Andrade no longer works in law enforcement. He tells me he applied for another job at a department in another county. He claims he wasn't hired, specifically because he's on Milwaukee County's Brady list. Reporting in the newsroom, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.